And our next uh, speaker is the leader and the co-founder of progressive political movement, Atlas Movement, Andrea Venzo. Welcome. So thank you so much for having me here. I'll be brief as I'm not Russian nor Ukraine and I'm just here to support. First and foremost, I wanna thank you. Thank you for organizing this amazing demonstration, but also, also thank you for coming here yourself. I know, I know that as Russians, it's very difficult to stand up for freedom and democracy. I know that being here, it might be liable and for criminal offenses. I know that it's incredible, incredibly brave of you of being here. And I mean, I'm honored to see so many Russians coming to stand up for freedom and democracy and to tell Putin that this cannot continue. So thank you, thank you for your bravery, thank you for your courage, thank you for keeping up the light of democracy and freedom in Russia when a dark regime is trying to turn it down. You are the last hope of Russia and I'm incredibly honored to be in front of you. The second thing I want to say is that I want to apologize. I want to apologize for all those people uh, that live in free countries and in liberal democracies and they are not standing up for Ukraine or for those Russians fighting against Putin. I'm Italian. I live most of my life in the European Union and I'm completely ashamed about the fact that on Italian public television in Germany in many countries, you see speakers openly supporting Putin. For me, this is one of the biggest guilt of 2022, something that history will never forget, forgive us for, especially because we have lived through fascism. My great-grandparents have seen the war. My grandparents had to rebuild after the war. We have seen the effect of fascist dictatorship in Europe, and still nowadays, we do not understand that when things like this happen, there is only one side to take. The one of the oppressed, the one of those fighting for freedom, the one of standing, they are standing for democracy. Everything else doesn't matter. Everything else doesn't matter. And I'm incredibly sorry to be here representing people or at least uh, a nationality that is not doing enough. We should do way more. We should be supporting Ukraine today way more. We should have supported uh, Russians standing up against Putin, like Navalny and like many others, way more. Instead, we waited. Instead, we are waiting. And in five years, in ten years, we'll see the result of our incredibly passive, of us being completely passive. And so this, this is the message I want to bring. You are the hero today. I'm here to support and many of the people that live in free democratic countries should do way more. So I'm sorry that we are not doing more. And I have a last message um, that is directly to Mr. Putin. I, I just want to make it clear uh, because I think this, this video might stay for a long time on the internet and be, you know, our children will be able to see it. I want to make clear that Putin, to, I, I want to make clear to Mr. Putin that he's a cancer of history. He's someone that is destroying history, that is causing pain, that is unmeasurable, that is bringing the hope of development, of progress to, to zero, that is destroying the lives of people that could have lived many more years, could have invented great things, could have uh, built beautiful things on this planet. And because of the fact, because of his nationalistic agenda, because of the fact that he has to consolidate his power, he has to find a scapegoat, he's now devastating another country, sending millions of Russians or hundreds of thousands of Russians to death. And pushing people like you to stand up on a Sunday where you could be enjoying this beautiful sun, standing up uh, to, to protect the last drops of freedom the Russian as in, in, its, in its society. So I want to tell again, Vladimir Putin, you are a monster. You are a cancer, and I really hope that no one after you will repeat what you have done. And history does not forget. 
Easter remembers. So our grandchildren will look back, we look at this square and say, those were heroes. And people sitting in the Kremlin, they were monsters. And we will not forget. Thank you.